comparative psychology. What is that? Well, we're comparing the minds of different species. Even if we speak about the mind of a, of a dog, a chicken, or even an insect, yes, they have minds. We naturally compare it to ourselves. So thus, perhaps that's the origin of that field. But it's a fascinating field. We are surrounded by minds. Yes, insects have minds, and we will talk about from fruit flies to crickets to bees to ants. They all have even emotions. So uh, I will share some exciting research, and we'll discuss, again, this amazing world we live in. Uh, you know, do you believe that humans used to say we're the only ones with minds? So then you have someone like Jane Goodall. No. Other primates have minds. It's not just primates. Then we extend it. Oh, well, maybe mammals. Oh, maybe birds, maybe fish, but now insects. It's all research-based ideas about different minds I'll share with you. So let's celebrate this amazing world of different minds, from emotions to even thoughts, problem-solving. Languages out there that we don't know about that exist, from bees to prairie dogs to dolphins. So again, let's celebrate this world we live in and the minds that surround us and we can understand others better and even ourselves better when we learn about other minds. All the best. Celebrate life. <laughs>